most of the news has been bad recently. So let's look at some weird news. <laughs> It is Weird News, Episode 3. We're just going to dive in. Our first story comes from a law firm in Crossville, Tennessee, that for Valentine's Day is giving away free divorces. That's right. What better way to celebrate the season of love than by ending a committed relationship? My question is, do you really want a free divorce attorney? If your divorce attorney is free, good, because you're not going to have any money left. Nothing that is yours is yours anymore. A couple in Quebec, Canada were fined $12,000 apiece for breaking curfew. Now, normally this wouldn't be a story, but they were caught breaking curfew with the wife walking the husband on a leash. Now, I don't wanna know. I don't wanna know. I don't want any part of it. So apparently this city in Quebec has a loophole around their curfew restrictions if you have to walk your pet. In this case, it just so happened that this woman's pet was also her husband. Again, I don't want to know, but it didn't work. Now, I don't care what your reasons are. Again, I don't want to know, but it's not worth $12,000. Our next story comes from France. Apparently a French woman has finally proved to authorities that she is not dead after three years of attempting to do so. Apparently in 2017, a woman from France uh, was part of a court proceeding and the plaintiff in the case claimed that she was dead and nobody checked on it. The courts officially ruled her dead and the plaintiff won the case. What? If you feel like you're gonna lose the case and you've got one last Hail Mary, my opponent's dead, your honor. It probably won't work if your opponent's actually in the courtroom, but in this case, the French woman was not. So nobody checked whether or not she was actually dead. And she's not dead. For the last three years, she's been trying to prove to French authorities that she is very much still alive and finally has. This woman has legally been resurrected. I don't know anything about this story, but I just want to read the headline to you. Kate Blanchett wins permission for meditation room at her haunted 4.9 million pound Sussex mansion despite discovery of bat colony. That headline has everything. Actress, meditation room, haunted mansion, colony of bats. What more could you ask for? I'm not even gonna read the story because it's guaranteed gonna be disappointing after that headline and I don't even wanna know. And finally, BMW has announced that it will use smart billboards in the UK to publicly shame out of warranty drivers into purchasing a new warranty from BMW. They're going to use vehicle recognition technology on these smart billboards to craft a personalized message for BMW owners that may be out of warranty. The only caveat is that the message is going to be broadcast to everyone within sight of the billboard. So not only are you gonna feel like an idiot because your car is out of warranty, everyone else on the road will know that your car is out of warranty. Sad spot to be in. Doesn't seem like the greatest use for vehicle recognition software, I might add, but Regardless, don't let your car warranty expire. Otherwise, BMW is going to call you out on it in the middle of the road, in front of everyone. Just another thing to be scared about. If you like my content, like the video, comment below, tell me what you want to see from me, and subscribe so you can stay up to date on everything that I'm doing over here. For now, thanks for hanging out, and we will see you next time.